Thomas Tate Tobin, Frontiersman. During his lifetime, Thomas Tate Tobin was renowned as the bounty hunter who tracked down and single-handedly killed the notorious Espinosa brothers, who murdered over 30 Anglos in Colorado and New Mexico, allegedly in retaliation for relatives killed in the Mexican-American War. After numerous failed expeditions by posses and army troops, Tobin, who was known for his scouting and tracking skills, was hired and succeeded in killing the men. However, Tobin was much more than a skilled tracker and bounty hunter. Tom Tate Tobin was a frontiersman, trapper, mountain man, guide, and scout in the early American West. Tobin was born in 1823 in St. Louis to Bartholomew and Sarah Ottobies Tobin. His half-brother was the famous frontiersman Charlie Ottobies. In 1837, at the age of 14, Tobin left St. Louis with Ottobies in Serene Street, Vrain, and traveled along the Santa Fe Trail with supplies destined for Simon Turley's Whiskey Distillery in a Royal Honda, New Mexico. Between 1837 and 1847, Tobin worked at Turley's Distillery, made numerous trips along the Taos and Santa Fe trails in the employ of Turley and the Bent St. Vrain Company, trapped, scouted for the army, and farmed. He was friends with the Bents, Kit Carson, and Wild Bill Hickok. Later, he worked as a trapper and scout at Bents Fort, Colorado. In 1846, he married Pasquela Bernal, and the two settled at Arroyo Hondo, near Taos, New Mexico. In 1847, Tobin was working at Turley's Distillery when the Pueblo Indian Revolt erupted. The mill was attacked, and Tobin was one of the only two men who managed to escape. Arriving in Taos, he and his brother, Charles, joined the militia led by Saron St. Vrain that successfully defeated the insurrectionist. That same year, he and his wife, Pasquela, began farming along the San Carlos River near the settlement of El Pueblo in southeastern Colorado. His crops were sold to the Lieutenant Colonel William Gilpin's troops, who were camped near Bent's Fort. Through the years, he continued to work as a guide and scout, making acquaintances with other frontiersmen such as Kit Carson, Uncle Dick Wooten, Serain St. Vrain, Charles Bent, John C. Fremont, Wild Bill Hickok, and William F. Cody. By 1853, his talents as a mountain man were so highly regarded that he guided the Beale Expedition from the Gunnison River to California. Some 10 years later, in September 1863, he was sent along with a detachment of soldiers to track down and eliminate the notorious outlaws, Philippe and Julian Espinosa. Returning to Fort Garland, Colorado, with the Desperado's heads in a sack, he never received the full $2,500 reward that was offered. In November 1868, Tobin was appointed by General Penrose as a chief scout on an Indian hunting campaign where he worked along with two other scouts, including his half-brother Charles Ottobies and Wild Bill Hickok. His relationship with the Carsons took an odd twist in 1888 when he was shot and stabbed by Billy Carson, Kit's son, who was married to Tobin's daughter, Pasquilita. Tobin had confronted Carson after he beat Pasqualita, and in the altercation, Carson beat and shot the elderly Tobin. Although seriously wounded and expected to die, Tobin recovered to live another 16 years. Carson died in 1889 of lockjaw after accidentally shooting himself in the leg. Tobin's final years were lived in near poverty on his ranch near Fort Garland, Colorado. Trying to collect pensions and old government debts for his services performed, including the killing of the Espinosa brothers. 
Though Tobin survived, he never fully recovered from his wound. Few funds were ever collected. Then, on May 15, 1904, Thomas Tate Tobin died and is buried near Fort Garland, Colorado. Until his death in 1904, Tobin displayed the characteristics of any frontiersman while he farmed and ranched and served as an occasional guide and scout for the army. Tobin's exemplary frontier skills and knowledge were said to have rivaled the legend himself, Kit Carson. Thanks guys for checking out this video. If you like this video and content like this, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and share with your friends and family. Here at Exploring the American Frontier, we provide content for your learning and viewing pleasures. And as always, get out there and explore. Thanks guys.